Hey guys, it's Eric from Modern Day Tech, and today we're going to talk about the brand new light switch from Eve. And I'm going to tell you three things that you need to know about this new light switch to see if it's right for you and for your smart home. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now the first thing that you're going to need to know is this does have thread, which is the latest and greatest communication. If you don't know about it, it's a lot faster and more reliable than Bluetooth. It's self-healing, and the switch which itself can be a thread router, meaning that it can connect to other thread devices, extending your thread network out to further parts of your home. For instance, if you have an Eve Aqua, this switch could extend that thread network to the exterior of your house where it can communicate with that Eve Aqua over thread. But understand to have a thread network, you will need a border router, which could be a HomePod mini or one of the new Apple TVs. I think it's fifth generation that has the thread in it. Now, eventually other devices outside of Apple Home will have a thread border router, but currently this light switch is for Apple Home and HomeKit only. But thread is the future of smart home. It is here now and it's here to stay. So having thread in the switch is just completely awesome now the second thing that you're going to need to know is that this has no moving parts it's not a normal switch where you're pushing it up to turn on and pushing it down to turn off there is no moving parts because it's a capacitive touch meaning that all you need to do is touch it anywhere on the switch and the light will turn on if it's off and if it's off it will turn on and that's it so it's no moving parts it has a nice little light on the front and you just put your hand up to it i think it even works with the back side of your hand and it just knows when your hand is there and it will turn it on off with no moving parts and the third thing that you need to know is that this switch will work in a three-way circuit and you only have to replace one of the two switches in a three-way you will need however a neutral wire in there it does need a neutral wire no matter if you're using this in a single a pole setup or in a three-way setup unfortunately it still needs that neutral wire but in that three-way setup you just need to replace one switch and you leave the other side just your normal dummy switch and you're good to go. So that's an awesome feature to have. And at a bonus, a fourth thing that you're going to need to know is that little indicator light on the front cannot change color and you cannot control it via HomeKit at all. Now you can go inside the Eve app and you have three different settings for that where you can have it always off you can have it on when the switch is on and you can have it on when the switch is off which is what I prefer you can also control the brightness there's three settings dark medium and more bright but in my opinion I didn't see much difference between the three brightnesses so I just kept it at the lowest and uh, you know it didn't really keep me up at night but if it does you're gonna have to turn it off all the way overall I love this switch I love that it has thread I love that it's a three-way with with a dummy switch on the other side that you don't need to play with. You don't have to change the wires in the dummy switch. And overall, I give this a two thumbs up. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.